Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to thank all of you for all of the nice comments and get well wishes and everything that you left in the comments yesterday. It really does mean a lot to me and I appreciate it so much. And one of my subscribers told me to go back and get that red jacket and uh, put the money in my PayPal so that I can pay for it. I believe it came off of this rack. Yeah, twelve ninety-eight. I don't know if they put them. This is the day after I returned it yesterday. I might find a color that I like better. Kind of like this turquoise. I believe I do like the blue better. <laughs> Let me try it on and see if it fits. I figured that day that I was here and bought it that that was the end of them. They must have a whole slew of them then. This is that gold that I was telling y'all about. That would not look good on a big woman like me. <laughs> but I do like the chill. I like it a lot. I like the purple too. These are cute, these little bomber jackets. And this is the silver. Looks like a garbage bag or a parachute or something. <laughs> Inside of a dryer. <laughs> these are nice, but I, I don't really need a jacket that long, but I do like the color. They're twenty dollars. Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all! That's my red jacket. Should I give get the red one or the blue one? They didn't put the tag back on it. I never wore it, but I did cut the tag off. I never dreamed I would need to return it for medicine. Let's see. Yeah, there's the tag. I had put it down in the pocket. That's it. Let me try on this uh, teal one. And if it fits the same as that, they, they put it on a large hanger, but it's actually a 1X. Okay, let me go over here and see if I can find a mirror so I can try it on. Oh, Lordy. Look at that, how ugly. <laughs> Y'all remember the jumpsuits that were popular in the 80s? I think I've got a picture somewhere of me in one. I was skin and bones. I thought I looked so good. I probably did. Oh, I like this one. Oh, look at that fake suede. It's cute. I like that soft fur around the neck. Ooh. Is that the pants or the jackets that are $60? Oh, I don't see a price on them. I'm really thinking about calling my doctor to get an antibiotic. I'm so sick of all of this green crap coming out of my head and my chest. You know, I try my best not to take one. If I can keep from it, but BCBG that used to be a real expensive brand, didn't it? Oh, I like that little furry one too. <laughs> Feels like a cat. <laughs> okay, let me go try on this jacket. Okay, yeah, I do like the blue better. And make sure I can zip it. It is a 1X. I don't want to have to get a 2X. Then it's going to be too long on the sleeves. Hold on, let me zip it. Yeah, it zips. Plenty of room. I like the... Yep, yeah, I'm getting it. Okay. Let me go pay for this. I did get my hair washed this morning. That's about all I was able to get accomplished. I just don't know if I want to call the doctor and 
if that antibiotic or not. Maybe I'll give it another 24 hours and see if the mucinex clears it up. And thank you to my subscriber who PayPal me the money to buy the mucinex. I, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Jill needs some... Um, she doesn't get to go to Walmart that often, so whenever I go, I always text her to to let her know that I'm here in case she needs somebody to pick up something for her. She can't find this quick anywhere. I wanted a winter robe, but they're all gone. I waited too late. Don't really need it. I don't reckon it's 52 degrees here today. Ugh. Okay, guys. I got my jacket back in the color that I wanted from the beginning. <laughs> Thank you so much to my sweet subscriber who paid for this. You sure have a loving and generous heart, and, and I love you too. Thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube channel. I didn't make the video yesterday to gain sympathy or pity. I made it because it's part of my Real Life on Social Security series. You know, I want everybody that watches my Real Life on Social Security series to understand that if you don't have a pension with your job and that you stay with your job for 20, 30, or 40 years and you pay into that pension, which most don't have because most companies have done away with pensions, but they do offer the 401k and a lot of companies, I think they either match it or, or match part of it. So I encourage all of you to contribute to your 401k and also to get you a um, a high interest earning savings account and contribute to it out of every paycheck. Um, I have a friend who does a monthly budget and he's very good at helping you figure out how to budget everything and how to put money into your sinking funds and he just explains it in detail. And the name of his channel is Haywood Homestead. And his name is Christopher, and his wife's name is Amanda, and they are just a loving young couple, and they just built their first home, and they're moving into it now, and I'm so proud of them. But he started his YouTube journey having a channel called The Budget Guy, and even though he changed the name of his channel, he still does um, budgeting, and he sent me the everything that I need to start my own budget, which I had planned to do in January, but everything is in such a mess with my budget, there's no need to even write everything down. I've got to get myself into some type of manageable position so that I can make a budget and stick to it. I'm not the type to start out something that I know is going to end up being a failure. You know, when I put my mind to something and, and I decide that I want to do something. I want the end result to be a success and not a failure. And at this point, and with my finances, I feel like if I tried to start a budget this month that it would be a huge failure. So um, again, I just want to thank you for helping me to, to get my jacket back. I also got a text that there is some mucinex and medicines coming in the mail for me. Thank you so much. And I also received some Super Chat donations, and I will be getting that money in my next YouTube check, which will be um, in February. So I very much appreciate the Super Chat donations. Uh, that's so thoughtful and generous of you. And I know it's not easy to, to give money to a stranger on YouTube, and you really have a caring and loving and generous heart to be able to do that. And I want you to know that I don't take it lightly, and I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I will leave a link in the description box below to my playlist on my uh, Real Life on Social Security series, and if you get a chance to send it to someone that, if someone that you know who is living on Social Security, uh, please send um, my playlist to them and ask them to watch it, and hopefully they will subscribe to my channel. I'm still hoping and praying that I get my other 300 subs this year. Of course, Zeus isn't here to to donate the $300 that he had promised to donate and the gift cards, but I'll 
I'll work it out. We'll get the $300 together some way or another. Um, that will be a celebratory giveaway whenever I reach 30,000 subscribers. I'm going to divide it up. First, I thought I would give one $300 gift card, but I will divide it up. Maybe two $100 ones and two $50 ones, but we'll see. Uh, we have a ways to go before I have to think about that. Thank you so much for being here. I love you with all my heart. And if you subscribe, you will be loved and accepted here. And y'all, just keep on coming back. Have a great day, guys. Bye. I'm home. I see a package. Hopefully that... This must be the medicine that my subscriber sent me. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yep, I hear pills rattling. I smell cat piss. Ugh. I bet somebody's emptying cat litter there. Either that or they let their cat out at night and it pisses up by my door. I won't smell it on this side. Ugh, it's disgusting. This cat. But I don't like the smell of them urine and I don't like people emptying their cat litter boxes next to my front door. Okay. <laughs> oh, a big bottle of naproxen sodium. 300 tablets. Let's see if there's a tag in here. No, there's no tag. I'm pretty sure these came from Will. He sent me a text message last night and said he was sending me some medicine to stockpile me. Thank you. Thank you so much.